what's up what's happening what's going on it's the man kill wonder otherwise known as the main creative force behind life of wonder and right now what i want to talk to you guys about is players in the mlb and some in the minor league and some being called up to the major league okay here we go now you already had this little experiment when we had some minor league call up to the major leagues and every time it came time for them to come up here to perform, they just didn't perform. They just didn't show up. Especially in the critical game moments such as the World Series. But in this case, I'm gonna go with the Chicago White Sox, my favorite team. No offense to the Cubs, but the White Sox are my team, as you can see. Every time we had minor league come up to the major leagues and then try to perform in certain situations, such as, you know the old saying, big time players make big time plays. Unfortunately, that hadn't always been the case with some names up here. And the names, I'm gonna go ahead and say right now. Daniel Parker, you remember Cody Ash, you remember Jacob May. These are mainly the names that came up here from the minor leagues and when it came time for them to perform, they just didn't show up and defense really didn't mean nothing. Just cause you got better defense don't mean you have a better offense. See, when you come up into the major leagues, your offense has to match your defense and your defense has to match your offense. Otherwise, that's, that's a waste of time, a waste of money. Cause what are you even being brought up for? I mean, when you come up to the major leagues, you should already know how to attack every pitch and then just hit over the part just like you did against any other pitcher out there. It doesn't matter if it's Justin Verlander and it doesn't matter if it's anybody you're facing on a, another team. It doesn't matter if it's Jose Barrios and it definitely does not matter if it's somebody like John Lester or if it's freaking Chris Sale. It does not matter. When you come up the bat, your job is to try to drive in runs. If you're a pitcher, that's a different story. Your job is to go out there, and if you're a starter, try to give us some quality starts. Attack the plate. What I mean by attacking the plate is attacking the strike zone. Just go at it like you would any other player as if you guys were in the minor leagues together because chances are you probably face that person in the minor leagues and into the major leagues all of a sudden it's a different story. Why is that? See, I do not know what you guys are being called up for. I mean, don't get me wrong. Part of me still have faith in you guys. There's, there's some other parts that say you guys could use a little more development in your pitches. And some of you guys who are hitters could use a little more development in your swing. Did I mention Nicky Delmonico? No? Ah, well. Well, he ain't on there then. Well, he's on there now. And you see what happened to him. He's no longer with the Sox because he got he got injured. He didn't perform right. I'm terribly disappointed about that, but good luck to him, whatever his future endeavors are. I miss him. And Daniel Parker, I don't see him with the White Sox organization anytime so much longer. 
I'm sure there's many other names I'm forgetting, but hey, I only got to say what I had to say. That's why I had to come on here and talk to you guys. Get this whole thing off my chest. When you graduate to the big leagues, your job is to perform at the highest level. That's why they brought you up here, because they believed in you. And then when you don't perform, that's when you're wasting their time, you're wasting their money. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't matter what level you're on, try to perform at the highest level that you can. You can even try to make it look good, but at the same time, don't do too much. You're just coming from the minor leagues and you just got paid this bigger deal. Gotta perform your worth. I should say this about every other player struggling right now, but in this case, this minor leagues being called up. You gotta perform your worth. It doesn't matter if you're an outfielder, you're an infielder, bat catcher, doesn't matter. Yeah, Bray, you did that, and I don't even think he did any years of AAA. Your arm Macaulay did it. That's how he got up here. Adam Mingle did it. That's how he got up here. Even though I felt like it could have been any other outfielder besides Adam Mingle. Charlie Tilson did it, and because of that, he got up here, he didn't perform, and ultimately got sent back down. When you up here, perform your worth. And if you, if you don't perform your worth, prepare to suffer the consequences as you take that long ride back to the minors. And if you could perform your worth, there might be a place for you in the 2020 team. So now, with the MLB season coming to a close, just a month left, September call-ups getting ready to come up. Only thing I have for y'all in terms of advice is just show us what you got. That could be a place for you on the team in 2020. Prove to us you could be part of the core. I don't want to put any player on blast like that. Again, this is not to bash anybody. But again, people, basically all we want for our team is great success for next year we want great vibes coming in next year with the team we could party like it's 2005 i know that's something i'd want that's something you all want well not everybody but those of us who are white Sox fans that's something we all want so moving forward in the 2020 with still a month left going into 2019. Let's try to make the best of September. Let's ride it out. Let's have some fun with it. Let's continue cheering off at the team. And for those of you who who like the Chicago White Sox, but then like the jump ship every time they lose a whole lot I only have this kind of advice for you guys if you wasn't with us during the struggle don't expect to be with us during the parade because y'all won't be there and that goes for saying for the Bears for the Bulls for the Blackhawks the Cubs will be alright nothing against them but just not my team. So, people, with that in mind, as I always do, I want to leave you guys with these words and party 
And this is to go without saying. This goes for everybody out there. Better thoughts, better actions, and better decisions all makes for a better you. Stay frosty.